today we are going to discuss the next topic that is the buffer solution now student what is a buffer solution it is a solution which is going to resist the change in its ph when a small amount of acid or a base is added or we can say that the buffer solution has got a constant ph students human blood is a very good example of buffer solution the ph of it is 7.35 throughout the day we consume lot of uh, food uh, type of food which might be slightly acidic or slightly alkaline but finally the ph of the blood it will maintain itself and it will remain 7.35 similarly many medicines are also a buffer solution now students let's define the buffer solution what is a buffer solution the solution resist the change in its ph when small amount even when even a small amount of acid even a small amount of acid of acid or base is added right that is ph remains constant so buffer solution the solution which resists the change in its ph even when a small amount of acid or base is added their ph will remain constant now the buffer solution student the related term to it is the buffer action now what is the buffer action student it is the property of buffer solution by which they retain their buffer solution by which Retain its pH, so they will retain their pH on addition of acid or a base. Right, so their ability to do so will be known as the buffer action now student the next is the type of the buffer solution student the buffer solution is of two types now the two types are first is the acidic buffer solution and second is the basic buffer solution so buffer solution it is of
strong waist. Now, example student, here is acetic acid, CH3COH plus CH3COO and it is one of the examples of the acidic buffer solution. Similarly, student, basic buffer solution, the solution of weak base and its salt with strong acid. So, example here, student, is uh, we can take ammonium hydroxide, which is a weak base, and its salt with strong acid. Now, student, these are the two types of buffer solution, acidic buffer solution and basic buffer solution. Next, students, we will discuss how these solutions, they retain their pH. That is, the buffer action of acidic buffer solution and the buffer action of the basic buffer solution. Now, let's start with the basic sorry here first acidic buffer action now for it we have taken the example of acetic acid CH3COH you know that it is a weak acid and it will be acetic and CH3CO negative plus H positive and the acetic buffer also contains sodium acetate. It is a strong electrolyte. So we get CH3CO negative plus Na positive. Right? So this is there. The acetic buffer contains of these ions, so acetate ion, hydrogen ion, and sodium ion. Now, on addition of acid, let it be. We have added few drops of HCl. Now, on addition of HCl student, what will happen? HCl will give H positive and Cl negative ion. These two ions are being introduced in the acidic buffer solution. Now, the H plus ion which has been added here, right? What it will do, you can see here students, there is a uh, acetic ion will get in excess because these ions have been formed from the acetic acid also and sodium acetate. Definitely through the common ion effect student, the suppression of the weak electrolyte that is acetic acid will get uh, reduced, right? So the acetic ion, but whatever is available in the solution student, it is going to combine with the H positive. This H positive has come from the acid and this is from the buffer solution and we combine and it will give acetic acid. CH3COOH. This will be going to be formed. So what will happen? The acetic acid concentration will increase and hence the further ionization of acetate Acetic acid will take place and this acetic acid is not going to uh, affect the pH of the solution as this is already beforehand present in the solution. Right student? So when an acid is added that time the acetic acetic ion from the buffer solution will combine with that hydrogen ion and will form the acetic acid. Right? And hence the pH will remain as it is. So here there is reserve basis right? So the reserve basis of the acidic buffer solution right is due to here is acetate ion right now students on addition of a 
base. If a base is added, few drops of water. Let it be any of which. So, when it will be added to them, we will get it here. from the base it will get reacted with H plus that is from the buffer right and water will be formed right so and water is not going to affect the pH of the solution so its pH will be written here Clear? So here the reserve acidity will be because of, of the acidic buffer solution will be due to the hydrogen ion which it has been obtained from the buffer. So as a result the acidic buffer solution it retain its acid uh, reserve, it retain its pH right and hence the pH will remain constant. Right students? So just go through it. We will discuss the basic buffer action. So, basic buffer action will be observed in the basic buffer solution which contains the weak base and its salt with a strong acid. So, let's first write down the equations for the basic buffer solution. So, here we get NH4 positive and OH negative ion. Salt of it with strong acid is NH4Cl. Here we get NH4 positive and Cl negative. This is the buffer solution, right? So on addition of an acid. So few drops of H plus of acid. Let it be exhale here, which we will take here. Two drops of exhale. So, exhale will be H plus and CL here. So, the H plus from the acid will then combine with the hydroxyl ion, which will come from the buffer and form H2O. So students, the water will form and hydroxyl ion from the buffer is getting consumed, right? So what will happen since it is getting decreased here? So what will happen then from the leach acid principle, the ammonium hydroxide ion uh, ionization is going to increase, right? So that the hydroxyl ion which is being consumed can be reobtained, right? And hence the pH will be constant here. So water is formed, right? The acid, whatever been added, H plus, it is going to be neutralized by the hydroxyl ion from the buffer and pH gets constant. Now on addition of a base, right? Let it be any of which two drop is being added. So it is giving hydroxyl ion, right? So the hydroxyl ion from the base will be consumed by the ammonium ion. This is from the buffer solution and to form NH4OH. So the ammonium hydroxide is already present beforehand. So here the pH will again get constant. And you can see again here that NH4 concentration, NH4 plus concentration will get reduced, which is going to favor the forward direction, that is the ionization of the ammonium hydroxide. So the pH will be retained here. Right? So in this way, there will be reserve acidity and the reserve basicity when a base is being added 
to the basic buffer solution and the acidic buffer solution uh, sorry as well as in the acidic buffer solution